Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please pause for a moment, hit the subscribe button so that you can be intimated about any new videos that I post on this channel and then please continue watching this video. So please pause this video right now and hit that subscribe button. Done? Okay, in this video you're going to learn how to create stylish animated caption placeholders in PowerPoint. This is a fairly simple technique and it's going to come in quite handy to present any of your picture slides. The way this technique works is like this. As you can see here, first you show the photo, then on a click you introduce this placeholder that comes in with a bit of a bounce effect and then you present your caption. The reason why you bring in this with a bounce effect is to draw the viewer's attention to the caption. Otherwise, the picture is so dominating and overwhelming that your audience may not actually see the caption that you've got here. Once you know how to create one of these, then you can always come up with your own variations. For example, if you take this one, you can have the caption coming in from the top and you can write your text here. And you can make your variations like if you have another one like this, you can have the caption coming in from the right and you can even write your text here that explains the picture. So there is a whole lot of ways in which you can use this technique. Let me show you how to create this effect from scratch. Here I have a new slide with picture. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to the slider here and click on the zoom out option so that you can clearly see the slide area and you can draw a big triangle here. So let me go to auto shapes gallery. From basic shapes, I'm going to pick up the fourth one from the left called right triangle. I'm going to click on that one, hold the shift button down as I draw a big right triangle like this. I'm going to hold the shift button down and I'm going to click and drag from the corner to increase the size of the caption placeholder. And you can notice that I have got this slightly extended from the corners. Can you see it is not right placed here? That is because if I use bounce effect, you can see that this bit comes inside and then goes out, but thereby revealing a part of the photo, which I don't want to happen. So I'm going to allow for some space for the bounce effect to happen. So it is slightly down and out. So this is the positioning. And then let us go to shape outline and say no outline. And let us go to shape fill and give it a dark color, which is totally in contrast to whatever colors that you see here. Then you can write your text on top of this. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the text box tool and you can write your caption text here. So whatever you want to write, you can write and make sure that the color of the font is in contrast to the background. And then you can choose a much bolder font, like say 2 cent empty condensed extra bold. And I'm going to increase the size of this and I'm going to make it go into two lines like this and I'm going to place it here. If you're interested, you can always add an icon as well. So let us go to insert and I'm going to use the icons option here since I'm using Office 365 option. If you don't have this option, then you can always pick up any icon from any public domain site. So I'm going to go to icons option and I'm going to pick up some random icon. Uh, let us take this one and I'm going to say insert and I'm going to slightly increase the size of this like so and then go to home go to shape fill give it white color so that there is sufficient contrast and i'm going to place it here i'm going to select the text and the icon and i'm going to press ctrl g to group them and i'm going to have animation to make them enter the scene now let us see what kind of animation we need to uh, add so that we can get this into the scene First, I'm going to select this one, which is the background or the caption placeholder. Go to the Animations tab. Go to Animation Pane so you can see what I'm doing here. The first thing I'm going to do is to use the Fly-In Entrance Animation. And I'm going to go to Effect Options and I'm going to have that come from bottom left. So this is the direction in which it is going to enter the scene. And let me go here. You can see that the duration is 0.5 seconds. And I'm going to click on the down arrow here to the right of the animation event and go to effect options and I'm going to add the option called bounce end and I'm going to move somewhere to the center. It doesn't really matter what time is given here as long as you can add some decent level of bounce end it is good enough. I'm going to say okay so you can see that this is how it enters the scene. Now 
I'm going to select this group here and I'm going to have that enter the scene with a simple fade animation and you can see that is fade and I'm going to have this come with previous but then I'm going to add a slight delay of 0.25 seconds. So that is all there is to it. Now let us go to the slideshow mode. You see the picture. On a click, I bring in the background and then the caption right after that. So that is how you create this beautiful effect. Once you create this one, you can of course use the same steps to create your triangle in this direction or if you want to use a rectangle or if you want to use any other shape you can always do so and the entire process is exactly the same you just introduce the item leave a little bit of margin so that the bounce effect doesn't look odd and then for the background give it a simple fly-in effect and then you introduce the text by using fade with 0.25 delay with previous that's all try this and you will really amaze your audience and by the way, if you're someone who is interested in learning custom animation in PowerPoint, then I highly recommend that you sign up to this free mini course called five easy animation tricks every presenter should know. All you need to do to join this mini course is to click on the link here. Once the mini course is over, you will automatically join our newsletter where I will share some exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers. So go ahead, Click on the link here and join this useful mini course and take your PowerPoint skills to the next level. I'll see you in the next video.